is an amazing, amazing woman, and we miss her dearly. So let's give it up for her daughter Haley and Janet Egan. I want to come out and accept the award. I'm Janet Egan King. Uh, I was the basis for Justine and the Unclean. I was also in Malachite and Swank with Justine, and we were best friends since the moment we met in 1991. If she were with us tonight, and God, we wish she was with us tonight, she would thank uh, Dave Minahan of Woolly Mammoth Studios. Lou Mansdorf of Rumbar Records, Jay Allen and Tom Baker, her co-hosts for seven years at the Plow and Stars for the residency. Her bandmates Jim Genota and Charles Hansen, Johnny Shasha and Jimmy Scopa, Scopa. The Whistle Stop Rock Women, Linda Mandolin, Linda Bean Pardee, Simone Burke, Heather Rose, Sandy Summers, Linnea Herzog, and Joellen Saunders Yanis. Yes, the thank you list goes on. She was grateful to Steve Pergoda, Barbara Walsh, and Dan Anklin for all the red on red help, to Alvin Long and Gail Rush of Curve the Earth Records, also Mock Bell, uh, Gary Somers, Linda Vienne, who's right here, who's a guiding light, Wayne Vienne's, Andrea Gillis, thank you for the intro, Ed Reamer, Ted Overbaugh, and Stupidity, her favorite band from Sweden. Uh, Justine would also like to thank artists Crispin Wood and Stephen Fredette, Joan Hathaway and Duncan Wilder Johnson. She would thank her mom and the Cobalt family, Ron, Margaret, Chris, Corbin, and Jonathan, and especially her daughter, the wonderful and talented, beautiful Haley Wood. Liz Gordon for reaching out to me. I know that my mom would be utterly stoked to know that this is happening. Uh, my mother wore many different hats during her music career. You may have known her as a performer, a promoter, or the founder of Red on Red Records. She worked tirelessly to uplift and promote bands in New England, as well as across the country and overseas. I feel very grateful not only to know her as a mother, but as a mentor and a best friend. I was most inspired by how she always followed her musical passions no matter what. She worked day and night to get her music out there with Justine and Young Clean and Justine's Black Threads and to build a strong community of bands who supported one another through Whistle Stop Rock and Red on Red Records. She was a determined, brilliant, and caring woman. We'll be celebrating Justine's life this Friday, the 6th, at the Crystal Ballroom in Somerville. I hope you can join us. Thank you to everybody who has helped her along the way, played and recorded music with her, gone to her shows, streamed music, and bought merch. And thank you again to the New England Music Hall of Fame for this incredible honor. <laughs> <laughs> 